So I'm going to give you a quick look at the Ellen Chrome Ranger Quadra set. Um, in this case, this is this package comes with a case. There are two heads. One, two, the charger, the actual pack, two batteries. It has um, some cables, and finally, this is the. Ellen Chrome's remote triggering uh, device. It's a transmitter. A receiver is already built inside uh, the actual pack, so you don't need to attach one. The reason why I like this is because it's basically very portable. Instead of carrying what I'd normally carry, a uh, bunch of speed lights, I'm able to carry in my same bag a unit which is 400 watt seconds. It's a couple of stops more powerful than a normal AA battery powered flash. Um, I've just attached the battery basically to the bottom of this. It just hooks onto two latches on the side. Um, these are the two head openings. Um, one of them is marked A it's going to give us 25 to 400 watt seconds more power and the B is 8.2 to 132 watt seconds and this output jack it actually gives uh, the flash a faster duration in this system they also offer two kinds of heads the S heads which are the standard heads and the A heads which are the action heads alright now going back to the pack um, what are all these buttons do? This is the power, power up, power down. This is the modeling light. It has an LED based modeling light which is kind of cool because I like to take videos also. And with this battery pack it's going to last a couple of hours. Normally I'd use a light panels micro uh, which uses four double A's. It lasts a pretty long time also but uh, it's of limited power the power button. These are the custom uh, menu functions. This is the slave, the optical slave. Battery meter. And these are uh, little indicators which indicate uh, some functions like the sound, is it the, the flash recycling time, you can change it, the volume of the beeping when it's ready to take another shot. Uh, the configuration of the internal skyport transmitter and this you can configure the flash sleep and finally that is a sync cord in case we do want to use pocket wizards or any other uh, form of radio trigger this is where the charger goes in this is a 20 amp fuse and that is about it now we're going to take a look at the size of this head and as you see it is definitely quite a bit smaller not only that but it is lighter let's take a look at this it's not that much longer and the thickness it's about maybe twice as thick a little bit less even so this definitely fits in uh, my bag. Now we're going to take a look at the Ellen Chrome Skyport transmitter that comes with the Quadra Ranger pack. And as you see, it's a fairly small device. The on position has two modes. You can change the power of all or you can change the power of a certain group. You can set your receivers, you know, your packs, your lights, your mono lights, um, anything as part of um, this receiving transmitting system to different groups. And when you do that, you can independently control the power. What we have here is the frequencies in which this can operate. You can remotely control the power up and down in the Ranger Quadra system, if I hold down the this button, it turns on the modeling light. This is the test switch to flash the light. This is a pretty small antenna. 
this is for sync chords and on the bottom it's actually fairly simple it doesn't have a screw or a lock so you might have to watch out because this might pop off but right now when I use it it seems like it's pretty rigid inside the hot shoe and this is the battery compartment it uses this kind of battery um, these are fairly common I think they're only um, maybe like three dollars so it's not a problem um, I'm going to grab a pocket wizard to show you what it looks like in comparison this is an old pocket wizard and as you see it's just much larger the antenna is much bigger okay that's it